hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we've got a Primark haul. And if you saw my previous vlog, I did take you in store into the Manchester City Centre store. We had a good look around to see what was new in. Picked up a few things, got two bags worth of stuff. So I thought I would compile it within today's video and just give you one juicy Primark haul as I like to do pretty much monthly. So if you do like the Primark hauls and are new to this channel, then do stick around and subscribe. Without further ado, make sure you're set comfy, cozy and relaxed and let's jump into sharing with you what I picked up from Primark. Now I know I go on about how good the homeware is in the Manchester store. However, I didn't actually pick up too many things, just a couple. So um, I'll show you those bits first. I bought these before actually, and this is from their cleaning section. It's these two pack of cellulose sponges. They're just really good for if you're needing something a bit more abrasive to um, wash stuff down with. And they look quite nice as well. They're only three pounds for a pack of two. And then my other item that I picked up is this gorgeous vase. And this was a nice surprise because when I got this to the till, it was actually cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. So this retails for 10 pounds usually. Got to the till and it was only five pounds. So half price. I really love the shape of it and I love the thinner neck. So I feel like it's one of those vases, a bit like H&M do one, they don't do it angular like this, they do it like a round kind of glazed, shiny finished um, vase, but with a thinner neck and you can get like a really wide looking bunch of flowers if you like really spread them out and make it look quite big. So I quite liked the shape of that. And also, yeah, I really like the texture of that. I actually prefer it to the H&M one because it's got like a kind of stone finish and a kind of distressed, irregular, shape. Yeah, that was the other homeware item that I picked up and that's everything that I got from Primark Home today. Just from the underwear section upstairs, these little five pairs of seamless footsie socks. I like to wear these if I'm wearing like trainers where I don't want the socks showing. When it starts to get warmer and I want maybe like a nice satin skirt with like a t-shirt jumper or whatever and like plimps old style trainers like my Superga trainers or my Veja ones, then these are the sort of socks that I tend to wear with them. So yeah, got those for three pounds for a pack of five. Okay, now on to some fashion finds. I'm gonna start with this set because I really liked it. It's one of the first things I saw in store and picked up. And it's a um, like co-ord set complete with a blazer at uh, 26 pounds and I sized up in the blazer to a size 14. And then there were two options for the bottoms to go with this, either shorts or trousers, so I picked up both just to show you them for comparison. I will say though, these shorts and the trousers are like a single layer linen. It's like a linen-y fabric. Um, and they are quite sheer or like quite, it's not that they're sheer, they're thin. So um, I am gonna send those back because I don't think the quality is quite right with those. However, the blazer, it's got the shoulder padding, it's got a kind of double lining to it. And I just think it's, can you see it's lined there? I just think the blazer is well worth the 26 pounds. So I am gonna be keeping that. The trousers I picked up in a size 10 and they were 16 pounds. And honestly, the thinness of these isn't necessarily what put me off getting them. I would have kept them, but it's the length. I feel like they're, they're quite short. And so they're a kind of awkward length that on me anyway, I'm five foot five for reference if you wanted to know. I, I would feel they kind of like, because they're a wider leg and they sit a bit shorter, I feel like they don't work. If they were more of a tailored fit and they're shorter to the ankle, I like that. But when they're a wider leg at the bottom, I feel like they should be like basically on the floor. So I definitely wouldn't be able to wear heels with these and dress them up. It would be flats only and even then, they, they're just a little bit too short for me. So yeah, it's a shame about that because there's nothing I can do, you know, even if I size up in them, still not gonna get the length of them. And then as for the shorts, again, I picked them up in a 10 and they were 10 pounds. And again, it's not necessarily the fact that they are a bit thinner. It's the fact that they are quite short on me and also the, the actual waist isn't that high. So they just feel a little bit too small and skimpy, whereas I'd have preferred them maybe a bit more of like a Bermuda style short, but really nice fabric, lovely kind of color, 
and yeah it's just a shame really about the fit on the bottom so it's going to be just the blazer that I'm going to keep with that and I will get so much use out of that blazer with just like jeans and a white tee satin slip skirt and a t-shirt um, a little summer dress underneath white summer's dress so yeah I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that blazer so I will be keeping that okay next up I'm going to show you these two because I thought they'd be quite nice together I'm loving the kind of cornflower blue I think for spring and summer blue is lovely and yeah I decided to, to pick up these new pair of jeans and like an Oxford style shirt of which I have to admit the shirt I absolutely love I got the shirt in a medium and it is 14 pounds for the shirt i just think it's really nice so yeah the medium is classed as like a 12 to 14 so sized up slightly because typically i'm like a 10 to 12 i would say but i wanted that more sort of like oversized fit to just wear slightly undone maybe half tucked into some jeans or denim shorts when it gets warmer so the jeans that i picked up now i've got rid of some primark jeans in the past because they got a little bit too kind of loose and baggy but they were so comfy when I first bought them and I don't know if they've slightly changed their jeans or the fit of them or whatever but these ones don't quite fit as good as the old ones do and they're three pounds more expensive the jeans that I used to get the straight leg high waist ones were 13 but they've gone up to 16 I got them in a size 10 I do find Abercrombie and Fitch jeans fit really really well but um yeah I thought I would try the Primark ones because like I said in the past I've really enjoyed the kind of stretch on the actual denim whereas these don't seem to have it anymore so I don't know if they've changed it or what but um I probably will return these but if you are after a good staple straight leg pair of jeans at an affordable price 16 pounds is good it's just maybe I'd have to like belt them they have literally especially the Primark at Manchester they have such a big denim shop section with so many different um jeans they also have the worn well section which I've got a bit of vlog footage in of the kind of vintage store where they have like old varsity tops like champion adidas they've got bomber jackets which i know are really popular at the minute and kind of like leather bombers as well like the kind of motor racing motocross type leather jackets and um levi jeans as well i got a levi jacket there last time i went to primark in my last primark haul if you saw it okay guys i just want to interject here and just talk to you a bit about these jeans i know i've just mentioned about not keeping them because they do gape a little bit at the back which I do still stand by. I'll show you a bit closer up how they do just fit on me. If I just show you that, they do gape a little bit, but I've decided, <laughs> I'm trying them on again. I do actually really like them. They're slightly longer than any jean that I own as well. So that's nice to have that length in the leg. I've just put the, them on with some Boston, um, Birkenstock Bostons. Um, but yeah, I actually decided that if I really wanted to, I could belt it, but if not, it's the sort of jean as well that would be comfy to go out for a nice meal in and not worry about not being able to breathe because there wasn't enough room with a food baby. So I'm gonna keep them, I've tried them on again. I do think they're well worth the 16 pounds and scrap entirely what I just said about not keeping them they're staying next up i got this little vest knit it's like a thinner knit it's honestly so soft such a lovely quality lovely fabric i did get this one in a medium um i don't think they had any smalls but i think i mean i've tried it on already and i know it fits fine so medium is absolutely fine and it was only seven pounds and i know it's a fairly basic top so for primark seven pounds is about right but the quality of this one it feels like it's from the it's not but it's feels like the Primark edit range that they do, the really nice kind of more luxe end of like Primark stock that they do. If you remember from my last Primark haul, I got so, it was pretty much all Primark edit clothes. But this feels like the same sort of quality that Primark edit would be. So yeah, I'm just more than happy to pay seven pounds for this. I think it's a good little staple. I'm a big fan of a kind of Breton stripe and yeah, just with some jeans, denim shorts, wide leg trousers i think would be really nice as well in like kind of either black with a black stripe or a nude like wide leg pant blazer thrown over the shoulder or little kind of like crew um jumper like tied up around your shoulders yeah really nice i've got a couple of dresses and this first one that i picked up is such a gorgeous fabric it reminds me of something i bought in the past from zara but it was like a top version i still have it actually but and um, this one's just a little bit thinner but it's like a kind of toweling material really nice lightweight knit perfect for spring and summer i love the neckline of it it's kind of like a square neck 
thinner straps they're not adjustable that's the only thing but i got a medium 12 to 14. i would have got a small but they didn't have any and i do feel like the medium is just a little bit big for me um but 16 pounds at this dress is i picked up two pairs of denim shorts and if i'm honest with you i had really high hopes for these they just don't fit as nice as I'd like them to. But again, that's just me on my body shape. Everyone's obviously a different body shape wise, but I picked up both of these because what I liked about them was they have slightly longer leg line. I am, you know, no spring chicken, I'm 31 now. And I do not want short shorts when it comes to like getting my legs out. Legs are my, probably my least, like the thing I'm most insecure about is my legs. I have a lot of cellulite on the back of them and wearing anything too short especially short and tight i.e denim shorts i'm quite particular with so i will be sending these ones back but let me know if you have any good denim short recommendations that are slightly longer like these ones so this one was my favorite of the two this pair because i love the color of the denim the denim wash and i love the fact that these ones aren't a raw hem i quite like that and they're good length as well again it's just the fit of these so i picked them up in a 10 but they're slightly baggy around my waist but quite tight around my bum so i'm going to send that back just purely on fit for me 14 pounds though pretty reasonable price and then the other pair that i got are a slightly darker denim again i do like this um this color but i think i just probably prefer the other one in a 10 again but these ones were only 13 pounds and yeah these ones have a raw hem but um, they have a slight cut on the edge so that they're not too tight. But I feel like these feel like they would be like a skinny jean if they were in a full length, like they're quite snug around the leg, even with that um, little slit there. But they were a little bit baggier, a bit looser. Maybe I could have sized up, then again, they probably would have been too big around my waist. So yeah, the hunt for a nice denim pair of shorts is still happening so any recommendations let me know i absolutely love this next item it's so comfy so cozy so perfect for all year round and it's just a simple cardigan but the knit of it is lovely it's quite weighty so it's going to be warm but um perfect color for again spring summer so for like spring summer evenings barbecue evenings where you've got a nice summer's outfit on if you want something cozy for in the evening this will be perfect I usually in this sort of item would size up. They didn't have any other sizes other than a small. And to be honest with you, a small is perfectly fine. It's still got that kind of oversized cozy fit. So yeah, no need to size up with this one if you like that oversized fit normally. 14 pounds, again, I think is really good. This is the sort of thing that you would find in Zara for maybe 30, 40, 50 pounds. And yes, nice length to be able to wear like shorts, or whatever. But if you like me, you don't like the back of your legs, just have that extra length there or with a like, nice white summer's dress underneath again for that extra layer in the evenings taking you right through to autumn and winter with like nice cozy leggings cozy socks and basic top underneath just for around the house so yeah love that one definitely keeping this one last but not least i have a another dress and i had all the potential with this one this one hung up was beautiful and i thought i'm either gonna love that or hate that when i get it on I hate it <laughs> that was probably a bit harsh hate is maybe a bit extreme it's just the look of it from a distance love the actual material of it if i show you a bit closer it's like a kind of crinkled super stretchy fabric that is actually quite thin and obviously it's white as well so it is a little on the sheer side the fit of it isn't the best it kind of is a bit boring up top i like the fact that it's kind of got a silhouetted waist which is what when i saw it hung up i was like oh that looks like it could fit really well but it just it doesn't it's maybe a bit too big around the hips a bit too baggy around the top and yeah it's got a nice slit up the leg which i like i think that adds a nice detail for like spring summer evenings on holidays going out for dinner it's not horrendous i just don't personally love it on me so in a small i picked this one up at 14 pounds it's just not a dress that i feel like i would get that much wear out honestly i'm looking at it now in the mirror again from a distance i love it but it's just when i like i just don't feel comfortable in it i feel a bit self-conscious so that's the only thing but yeah, that is the last and final item I picked up on this little trip to Primark. 
I feel like this was quite a speedy haul for me because there wasn't too much to share with you. But um, like I said, if you wanted to see any more of what was in store currently, then be sure to head over and watch my previous vlog where I show you a lot more um, what is available at the moment in Primark. And let me know if you'd like me to go back and do another haul, especially with more homeware bits next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.